the images from Apollo 11 that stuck out to me, Neil Armstrong back inside after the moonwalk and the look on his face. I wanna show uh, viewers uh, two of those images, uh, one before and, and one I assume is the restored image, if you can talk through those. Yeah, fantastic image. Um, we can think about this moment. So they got back into the lunar module, the relative safety of the lunar module. They've undertaken this historic moonwalk. They take off the helmets and they're contemplating the enormity of what they've just achieved. And Buzz Aldrin captures this moment on film. And it's a great photograph. You know, we can see Neil Armstrong there. We can see his expression. But technically, it really isn't very good. Um, we can't see any detail in the shadows. The, the colour's all wrong. And that's something that always frustrated me. When I see an image like that, it's tantamount to somebody writing about Apollo 11 and misquoting Armstrong's one small step quote. You know, it just shouldn't happen. We should be seeing these images better than this. Um, to me, the most important photographs ever taken. So you can see now the remastered uh, image and we can see that detail in the shadow. We can see his NASA badge. We can see Armstrong written across his chest. We can see his expression more clearly. And if you look closely, you'll see he's got red teary eyes. Now these astronauts were the top guns of the time, test pilots, fighter pilots. They were trained to subdue emotion and you'd put Armstrong at the top of that list. So this is more likely moon dust irritation or tiredness, but maybe, you know, this is a bit of rare emotion when Armstrong contemplated, like I said, the enormity of what they've just achieved. We'll never know, but at least we can now see this more, more clearly. Uh, many of us and uh, many other people in many places have speculated on the meaning of this first landing on another body in space. Would each of you give us uh, your estimate of what is the meaning of this to all of us? I just see it uh, as a beginning. Uh, not just this flight, but in this program, which has really been a very short piece of human history. An instant in history, the entire program. It's uh, a beginning of a new age. <laughs>